Tally ho there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the show. And today I'll be showing you how to get extra hours of battery life out of your Dell XPS 15. Dell have released a new BIOS update and if you've got an NVMe drive you will get a significant increase in battery life and I've tested this out and I'm getting anywhere from one hour to a couple of hours extra battery life. So if you want extra hours of battery life on your Dell XPS 15, stay tuned. Tally ho, tally ho, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now what you have to do is you basically have to go to the Dell's drivers section. So go into your browser. For me, it's dell.com.au. Comes up. So go to your local Dell site. Now, what I'll do from here is I'll click on all new XPS laptops. I'll go to the Dell XPS 15. And I'll go to this part here, drivers, manuals, and support. So I'll click on that. Go to get started. And then I'll go down here to drivers and downloads. Then just, then you just scroll down to BIOS. And here it is. And the version you want is 1.1.15. So let's have a look what it's going to improve. First of all, it improves audio performance. Um, improves NVMe battery life, 100%. I'm getting an extra couple of hours of battery life. So with this Dell XPS 15 now, I'm getting as much battery life as the Dell XPS 13. So it's a really great improvement. So fix i7 CPU performance become low after AC removed and inserted. So what was happening there is, when you pull out the AC adapter and you're on battery, your CPU power usage will go down. So it will just drop its speed down. Now, usually when you plug it back in, the speed goes back up. But there was some sort of bug in the BIOS that when you were plugging it back in, the speed wasn't going back up and you had to restart. So it fixes that. Enhanced system boot time, yes. It does boot a bit quicker. So number five, what is that? It's great English. Um, <laughs> Uh, so error message when you were installing Windows, I believe. And then it says enhanced battery sleep resume time. Okay, so that means it just wakes up quicker from sleep. Okay, so there are all the improvements you'll get. But the main improvement we want is the battery life. So once you get to the driver section and you find the BIOS 1.01.15, you then all you do is download it. And once it's downloaded, open the folder there. And here it is here. So it's 1.1.15 EXE. Now all you do is run that. Make sure you're powered. You've got your power on. Do this at your own risk, of course. But it's I think it's definitely worth doing for the extra couple of hours of battery life you're going to get. So, so all you do is run that. It'll flash the BIOS. Make sure you've got the power on. Do not interrupt it while it's doing this. Go through the process. And then what you've got to do is set your BIOS to default after that. And then you'll see an extra couple of hours battery life for nothing. So that's it, guys. I'd like to thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you think this video was useful. And subscribe for more tech content coming soon. And until next time, guys, tally-ho. Tally-ho, tally-ho, ladies and gentlemen.